Okay, uh, so for today, we're going to be going over uh, language A, uh, language and literature guide, right, that we have. And so let's go over uh, some of the major themes from the IB diploma uh, that we have, right? And so uh, once again, we do have the IB uh, mission statement that uh, it provides, right? And so uh, develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people will help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. Uh, to this end, the organization works with schools, governments, and international organizations to develop challenging programs of international education and rigorous assessment to become uh, more active, compassionate, and lifelong learners who understand that other people with their differences can also be right. Um, so let's take a look at uh, the IB learner profile, right? Uh, so if you recall uh, how to, uh, <coughs> uh, um, uh, uh, to, uh, to culture or uh, cultivate these uh, sort of uh, principles, right? The learner profile, uh, inner inquirers, uh, knowledgeable thinkers, communicators, principled, open-minded, caring, risk takers, balanced, reflective, right? So uh, we nurture our curiosity, developing skills for inquiry and research, uh, how to learn independently and with others, learn with enthusiasm and uh, sustain our love of uh, learning throughout life, knowledgeable, uh, develop and use conceptual understanding, exploring knowledge across a range of disciplines, engage with issues and ideas that have local and global significance, Thinkers, critical and creative thinking skills to analyze and take responsible action on uh, complex problems. We exercise initiative in making reasoned ethical decisions. We express ourselves confidently and creatively in more than one language and in many ways. We collaborate effectively, listening carefully to the perspectives of other individuals and groups. So again, uh, inquirers, knowledgeable thinkers, communicators, uh, principled, open-minded, uh, caring, right, risk takers, balanced, reflective, right, are all uh, IB profile learners uh, or uh, the profiles but that we have, right? Empathy, uh, compassion, respect, right? Uh, resilience or uh, determination for thought, open-minded, personal histories and cultures, traditions of others, points of views and growth from the experience, right? Balanced, intellectual, physical, emotional, right? That we have reflective, uh, the world and our ideas and experience, right? Learning and personal development. So these are uh, 10 uh, attributes or learner profiles uh, respected by the IB World Schools, right? That we have that we'll also be able to go through. Uh, so again, purpose of this document, diploma program, nature of the subject, aims, uh, assessment object, objectives, right? That we have that we'll be able to go through. Uh, so you do have the uh, IOC, IOP, right? Uh, certain uh, sort of uh, 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 papers, paper one, paper two, right? The exam version and the presentation that you'll be uh, completing, right? For this uh, B diploma, right? That we have. Uh, and so once again, uh, we do have uh, <clears throat> sciences, the arts, mathematics, right? Studies in language, literature. Uh, language acquisition, individual societies, right, that we have, that you'll be able to go through. So once again, uh, we do have this uh, sort of uh, IB uh, learner profile mission statement, right, that we have, right, that we'll be going over. Diversity, learning support requirements that we have. Uh, nature of the subject, right? Language and uh, language and literature, right? That we have with the program that we have, and so uh, we'll be able to go through that. Uh, literature, language and literature, right? That we have uh, that we'll be able to go through. Uh, in theory of knowledge, right? Uh, language and literature, creativity, activity, and service, right? That we have here as well. Uh, in uh, literature and extended essay, right, that we have, that you'll be able to go through. Uh, we do have the MIP, DP in 
PYP, right? So uh, middle school, uh, sort of primary and diploma, but you'll be going over the diploma program, right, uh, generally. Uh, we do have uh, language and literature aims, <coughs> uh, engage with a range of text, variety of media and forms, different periods, styles and cultures, listening, speaking, reading, writing, reviewing, presenting, form, performing, right, interpretation, analysis, and evaluation, uh, formal aesthetic qualities, uh, diverse responses, right? Communicate and collaborate, confident, creative, language and literature. Okay, uh, so range of text, works, performances, meanings, implications, texts are written, received. Uh, again, uh, literary, uh, literary, stylistic, rhetoric, rhetorical, visual, or performance craft of the uh, types and literary forms that we have, right? Uh, use of language, uh, literary, stylistic, rhetorical, visual, theatrical techniques, right? Uh, among different texts, uh, human concerns, logical, persuasive, uh, pers pers situations, ideas, emotion, character, and most character performance. So once again, uh, analyzing different texts that we have, sometimes between texts that we have, sometimes unseen texts that you might be finding. And so like analyzing the literary devices, right? Uh, finding uh, stylistic, rhetorical, even historical, sometimes visual theatrical techniques, right? Of offering your own perspective, right? Your opinion about it, right? That we might have, right? Range of styles that we might have, right? The different meanings that we might have, right? That we could also take a look at. Know, understand, and interpret. So analyze and evaluate, right? That we might have. Uh, paper one, paper two, internal assessment, HLSA, paper one, paper two, uh, internal assessment, right? Paper one, paper two, or internal assessment, HLSA, right, that we have. Uh, readers, writers, text, text and space, intertextuality, connecting text, right, that we have. Um, <clears throat> theory of knowledge, approaches to teaching and learning, uh, creativity, active and service, international mindedness. So culture, creativity, communication, perspective, transformation, representation, identity, readers, writers, and text, time and space, intertextuality, connecting text. So language, literature, performance, right, that we have. And so uh, course requirements, right, that we have, SL students, HL students, what they're required of, authors, literary forms, period, place, right? Uh, non-literary text that we might have, like advertisement, appeal, film and uh, television, parody, pastiche, appeal, biography, blog, brochure, cartoon, diagram, diary, electronic text, uh, essay, guidebook, infographic, interview, letter, magazine, manifesto, memoir, photographs, waiver, broadcast, report, screenplay, instructions, textbook, travel writing. So again, a lot of uh, different texts that we would have come up with. Right, that we have. And so let's take a look at the uh, area of exploration, readers, writers, and text. So let's take a look at it as well. Uh, Margaret Atwood that we have. <clears throat> this area introduces students to the nature of language and literature and its study. The investigation uh, undertaken involves close attention to the details of text in a variety of types and literary forms so that students learn about the choices made by creators and the ways in which meaning is communicated through words, image, and sound. At the same time, the study will focus on the role receivers play in generating meaning as students move from personal response to understanding and interpretation influenced by the classroom community. Students will learn to understand the creativity of language, the relationship between language and thought and the aesthetic nature of literature. Students will see that texts are powerful, means to express individual thoughts and feelings, and that their own perspectives as experienced users of language are integral to the effect and success of communicative act. Study in this art uh, area should be restructured to allow students to become more confident in their ability to recognize key textual and rhetorical features and allow how they create effect or effect meaning. 
non-literary text and literary works can be chosen that lend themselves to close reading and give students a sense of stylistic, rhetorical, and literary elements across a variety of text types and literary forms. The aim is not to enumerate or define various features, and study will move beyond the identification of elements and the consideration of individual effects uh, to see the complex constructed nature of text while conducting detailed study, learning activities can be structured to introduce students to the ways in which linguistic and literary professions attempt to communicate effects and their concerns, student writing and response can involve moving between personal and academic response between the creative and expos expository readers, writers, and texts aims to introduce students to the skills and approaches required to closely examine texts as well as introduce metacognitive awareness of the nature of the discipline by considering the following guide guiding conceptual questions. And so once again, like how are we affected by text? How do we study language and literature? How can it be interpreted? What are the literary forms, right? Structure, style of a text, right? Text offer uh, insight intelligence. But when it uh, comes to IB sort of paper one and two, uh, literary analysis would be central, right? Diction, tone, right? Perspective, character, right? All these themes would be onomatopoeia, right? Simile, metaphor, right? These terms would be more uh, sort of uh, uh, more conceptually sort of relevant, right? That we'll be able to take a look. Uh, and so there might be even some possible sort of links to TLK that we might find as well, right? So how do we learn about the uh, learn about throughout through the study of a literary text, right? How is this different from what we learned through the study of a non-literary text? How can the study of language and of literature be considered scientific? Uh, how much of the knowledge we construct through a reading a text is determined by authorial attention, right? That we have. How are multiple interpretations best negotiated, right? How are interpretive strategies uh, interacted as well, right? Uh, so area of exploration that we have, time and space. <clears throat> I think the use of language is very important means by which the species, because of its biological nature, creates a kind of social space to place itself in interactions with other people uh, by Noam Chomsky. This area of exploration focuses on the idea that language is a social capacity and as such is intertwined with community, culture, and history. It explores the variety of cultural contexts in which texts are produced and read across time and space, as well as the ways texts themselves reflect or reflect the world at large. Students will examine how cultural conditions can affect language and how these conditions are a product of language. Students will also consider the ways uh, cultural identity influence reception. Students will investigate ways in which texts may represent and be understood from a variety of uh, cultural and historical perspectives. Through this exploration, students will recognize the role of relationships among texts, the self and other, and the ways in which, which the local and the global connect. These relationships are complex and dynamic, and the background of an author and the makeup of an audience are not necessarily clearly clear or easily described. Texts are situated in specific contexts and deal with or represent social, political, and cultural concerns particular to a given time and space. For example, a text written to address the concerns of an author in contemporary society can be set in ancient times. Cultures that are geographically separated can share more or ideas while people living in proximity can embrace disparate traditions. Students will consider intricacies of communication within such a complex societal framework and the implications that language and text take on when produced and read in shifting context. Study and work selection in this area should allow students to explore texts and issues from a variety of places, culture and or times. The culture, biography, of an author, historical events, or narratives of critical reception will be considered and may be researched. 
but the focus of study will be on the ideas and issues raised by texts themselves and the consideration of whether these are best understood in relation to an informed uh, in relation to an informed consideration of context. In this area of exploration, students examine the ways in which a text may illuminate some aspect of the political or social environment or the ways in which a more nuanced understanding of events may affect their understanding or interpretation of a text. The study of context does not imply a st static one-to-one -one relationship between the text and the world, but sees the former as a powerful non-human actor across time and space. Time and space aims to broaden student understanding of the open, plural, or cosmopolitan nature of text, ranging from advertisements to poems, by considering the following guiding conceptual question. How important is cultural or historical context to the production and reception of a text? How do we approach text from different times and cultures to our own? To what, uh, to what extent do texts offer insights into another culture? How does the meaning and impact of a text change over time? Texts reflect, represent, or form a part of cultural practice. How does the language represent social distinction and identities? So once again, more about like cultural elements that we have. Noam Chomsky being a uh, sort of a uh, linguist himself, right, we will be able to study about the uh, the power of language, right, how it sort of frames different net, uh, sort of different frameworks of understanding or the societal cultural frameworks, right, that we might be able to see here as well, right. So once again, uh, sort of uh, possible links to TOK, right, once again might be um, how far a reader understand a text that was written in a context different from their own and which may have addressed a different audience. It's not sharing a worldview with an author and an obstacle to understand their text. What is lost in tr translation from one language to the other? And how might the approaches to a given time and place of a poet, a cartoonist or a diary writer and a historian differ? So different uh, forms of uh, sort of, uh, uh, of uh, text that we might have is the notion of a con canon helpful in the study and understanding of literature. How does a canon get established? What factors influences expansion change over time? So again, uh, intertextuality, sort of connecting the text that we might have, right? Uh, so various texts that we might have as well, right? And also different forms of uh, sort of text that we have. I will not deny that language is based on difference. Rather, I will argue that it is also based on reference by Robert Scholz. Uh, so <clears throat> this area of exploration focuses on the con concerns of intertextuality or the connections between and among media, text and audience involving diverse uh, traditions and ideas. It focuses on the comparative study of text so that students may gain deeper inspiration both both uh, unique characteristics of individual text and complex systems of connection. Throughout the course, students will be able to see similarities and differences among diverse texts. This area allows for a further exploration of uh, literary and linguistic concerns, examples, interpretations, and readings by studying a group of texts set by the teacher or set in close conversation with a class or group of students. Students will gain an awareness of how texts can provide critical lenses to reading other texts of, and of how they can support a text interpretation by expanding on it or question it by providing a different point of view. Intertextuality. Connecting texts can be approached in a variety, variety of ways, such as through the study of a group of texts from the same text type or literary form, for example, advertisements, drama, or short stories, respectively, a study of a chronological development, for example, the tale, the elegy, political liberation, the newspaper, a consideration of mode, for example, satire, action, adventure, parody, the exploration of a topic or concept, fame, gender, power, social code, values, the hero, investigation into a theoretical perspective or debate in language or literature, for example, literary value, feminism, cognitive theory, critical discourse theory. And so once again, uh, these sort of factors, right, uh, that we have different uh, sort of literary, uh, sort of uh, uh, sort of different types of uh, uh, literature that we have as well. 
And then uh, this area of exploration aims to give students a sense of the ways in which text exists in a system of relationship with other communicative acts past and present. Students will further engage with literary and linguistic traditions and new directions by considering the following guiding conceptual questions. How do texts adhere to and deviate from connections, conventions associated with literary forms or text types? How do conventions and systems of reference evolve over time? In what ways can diverse texts share points of similarity? How valid is the notion of classic text? How can texts offer multiple perspectives of a single issue, topic, or theme? In what ways can comparison and interpretation be transformative? And so once again, uh, connecting text, intertextuality that we have here as well, right? that we'll be able to find. Uh, possible links to TOK might be uh, what are boundaries uh, between a literary text and a non-literary text and how are these boundaries determined? What kind of knowledge about a text is gained and what it, when compared and contrasted with other texts? Does knowledge of conventions of form, text type, and literary and rhetorical techniques allow for a better and deeper understanding of a text? How are judgments made about the merit of a text? What makes the text better than others? Is the text study of text better approached by means of temporal perspective, grouping texts according to when they were written, or by means of thematic approach, grouping them according to the theme or concern they share? What impact does each one of them have on knowledge of the discipline? How uh, useful are classifications of text according to form, text type, and period? How do they contribute to the understanding of communication and its development, right? The learner prof portfolio that we have. Uh, the learner portfolio is a central element of the language, a language and literature course, and is <clears throat> mandatory for all students. It is individual collection of student work done throughout two years of the course. The work, uh, the work carried out for the learner profile portfolio forms the basis of preparation for the assessment, although the portfolio itself right, will not be directly assessed or moderated by the IB. However, it is a fundamental element of the course, providing evidence of the student's work and the reflection of their preparation for the assessment components. So uh, learner portfolio, uh, once again, reflect upon the literary and non-literary texts that we have, right? And establish connections among them with the areas of exploration and the central concepts in the subject. In the learner portfolio, students will be expected to reflect on their responses, right? A corresponding area of exploration. They will uh, be expected to establish uh, connections between these works and the ones they have read and between their perspectives and values as readers and those of their peers, right? A foundation for the construction of broader knowledge and the construction transactions between text, culture, and identity. A learner portfolio is also a space in which students can prepare for an assessment. They will use the portfolio to make decisions about the most appropriate and productive connections between the works. Uh, they have studied uh, in the assessment components. It should be introduced at the beginning of the course and become increasingly important as student progress and prepare for external and internal assessment. The learner portfolio uh, must consist of a diverse diversity of form and informal responses to the literary and non-literary text which may come in a range of uh, critical and or creative forms and in different media. It is the student's own record of discovery and development throughout the course. It could be used to document uh, reflections related to the guiding conceptual questions of the course, reflections on the assumptions, beliefs, values, right responses to text, of literary expressions of literary text, insights, by right, social, global, real world issues, of uh, work, literary text, extracts of uh, potential meanings for language used in them. So once again, a reflection on the connections across a range of texts, experience of form, media, technology, creative writing tasks for exploration of uh, different literary forms, uh, students perform personal responses, uh, reading, research, inquiry, 
uh, value feedback, uh, learner portfolio, once again, uh, of the oral that we have students progress. So once again, uh, sort of uh, uh, cultivating these sort of learner profiles that would have been listed in the form of the assessment, in the form of the orals, right? Uh, the IOP, IOC, right, that you'll be uh, sort of developing these sort of uh, uh, sort of uh, the, lear uh, the uh, learner profiles as well in the portfolios that you'll be uh, producing over the course of the year as well, right, that we have. And then uh, the uh, receptive skills that you'll also be developing, uh, sort of productive skills or interactive skills, right? Maintain uh, sort of close oral exchanges, the ability to uh, adjust style or emphasis, right, that we have. And also ideas and op opinions on different topics, right, orally and in writing that we have, right? Uh, support complex arguments, explanations and examples, right? Of narrating, comparing, explaining, persuading, and evaluating, right? That we have interpretations, analysis, comparisons, evaluations, right? Uh, that we'll be making as well, that we'll be able to see. Uh, and so once again, uh, uh, <coughs> the conceptual understanding would be, what is an IB education? So IB program offers students access to broad and balanced range of academic studies and learning experiences. They promote a conceptual learning, focusing on powerful organizing ideas that are relevant across subject areas, then that help uh, integrate learning and coherence to the curriculum, broad balance, conceptual and conceptual section, right? So DP, PYP, MIP, PYP, right, that we have. Uh, in language and literature courses uh, would be uh, the teaching and approaches to learning and studies of language and literature, right, that we have. And so uh, once again, identity, right, that we have multiplicity of perspective, voices, characters, right, that we have, writer's identity, and uh, about uh, the complex, right, concept of identity, uh, that we have culture that we have, right? Culture that we have, right? Uh, <coughs> uh, that we have culture, literary context, creativity, uh, reading and writing that we have, uh, fundamental to analyze. Uh, once again, uh, creativity, communication, uh, perspective, transformation, representation that we have, right? So again, a lot of these uh, sort of textual sort of components that we have that we'll be able to take a look, right? The principles of course design that we have would be uh, sort of uh, uh, the reading list, language and a literature course allows teachers significant freedom in organizing and structuring their courses. The three areas of exploration focus on different approaches to the study of text and do not establish any requirement about the text types to or literary forms to be studied in uh, each one of areas individually. The prescribed reading list would be chosen, right, that we have. The syllabus does not bind the areas of exploration to particular assessment components, right, that we have central principles of variety, integration, autonomy, accountability, right, that we have uh, teachers must ensure the choice of text represent as variety of the text types, literary forms, places, times, voices, uh, uh, in three areas of exploration, right, that we have. Uh, in translation, text from different literary forms, text types, uh, balance between canonical voices and newer, less traditional voices, right, that we have uh, the student involvement, that we have integration, right, that we have uh, the, learner pro uh, the learner portfolio that we have, right, uh, the text and previous ones, Expected connections that we have, uh, paper two. Uh, and teachers encourage students to take advantage of the flexibility of the syllabus, allow and not to limit themselves in their choice of text to individual areas of exploitation. So, again, uh, sort of uh, the possible integration of different texts that we might have. Uh, seven uh, sort of concepts in study of language and literature that we have in areas of exploration. Autonomy, 
for students to be able to make uh, careful decisions about the choice of text to use for assessment components, need to be encouraged to think of their learning in a more autonomous way. <clears throat> Teachers should foster this by initially ensuring students have access uh, to information about course aims, syllabus requirements, assessment components, and criteria as early as possible. Uh, studies in language and literature course require a high level of agency on the part of the student regarding the preparation of their work for the assessment components. It's also important that there should be ongoing assessment of the student's progress towards their goals. It's likely that students will elaborate and follow individual routes in their preparation for the assessment components. They will, however, require guidance on the part of the teacher with regards to the appropriateness of their choice of words and the associated concept or uh, global issue. Regular instances of uh, self-assessment and peer assessment will also help students to carry out an evaluation of their progress uh, towards the objectives the course sets for them. A prominent feature of the stru structure of studies in language and literature courses is the amount of latitude it permits to both teachers and students in their choice of pathways to comply with syllabus requirements. The syllabus is not prescriptive, and this means that there is a plenty of room for individual choice. Both teachers and students should be aware that this flexibility does not imply leniency. In relation to compliance with the requirements of the course, teachers must make sure that the requirements of the course are met by the whole class. Each student has a clearly laid out plan for addressing the demands of all assessment components, which guarantees that all the necessary texts will have to be read and studied. To the best of their knowledge, no uh, work will be used to, for two different assessment components and the principles of academic honesty are respected. So once again, uh, the accountability, uh, autonomy, and duration variety, right? Uh, sort of uh, profiles that we have as well, right in here. And uh, in general, there would be the formative assessment and the summative assessment that we'll have as well, right? And uh, so, uh, the assessment would be, uh, as we would have talked about, the uh, <coughs> sort of the paper one, paper two, right? ILP, IOC, right? That we'll have. And there will be the marks, uh, mark band and the mark scheme, right? That we'll have as well for each uh, descriptor and the maximum marks and what will be required of uh, each of the. Uh, sort of assessment criteria well, that, that will provide for us, right? The forms both uh, teaching and learning summative would be an uh, overview of the student achievement, right? That we'll be able to take as well, right? And so once again, these are four uh, responsibilities of the school that will be uh, taking care of the, uh, I, uh, the assessment, right? That we'll be able to take a look. And so again, this uh, assessment will look uh, slightly and different uh, in that uh, external assessment would be 70%, uh, whereas uh, <clears throat> there will be a guided uh, textual analysis, two-loan literary analysis, right? Two different types accompanied by a question, right? That we have choose one passage and write analysis of it. So the general sort of literary analysis that the students will be going through. And then comparative essay that we have, which consists of four general questions, right? In response to one question, students write a comparative essay based on two works studied in the course. And the internal assessment there would be where uh, there would be an individual oral uh, assessed by the teacher and externally moderated by, by the IB at the end of the course right, that we have. And then the individual oral an extract from non-literary text and then from a literary work. The students will be offered uh, a pre and prepared response of 10 minutes followed by five minutes, right? No questions by the teacher to the following prompt. And then uh, examine the ways in which global issue of your choice is presented through the content and form of two of the texts that you have studied. So once again, <coughs> sort of comparison of the text that we might have, right? Uh, internal uh, assessment, internal oral, right? That we'll have as well. We'll be able to take a look the HO will have uh, two non literary passages, two different texts, a uh, comparative essay with HL, right? That we have internal assessment, individual oral, right? Uh, slightly different in the sort of uh, the mark uh, sort of 
assessment and there will be the extra sort of uh, HLSA, right? That will be studying, uh, will be uh, also writing about, right? One long literary text, right? That you'll also be required to write about, right? These sort of different uh, guidelines, right? And context, right? That we have here as well, right? So once again, uh, the guided textual analysis, uh, majorly concerning of the textual analysis, right? The literary analysis that you'll be going through. Uh, once again, <clears throat> sort of diction, uh, diction, uh, diction, uh, sort of uh, onomatopoeia. Once again, juxtaposition, uh, literary analysis, right? That you'll be going through as well for the SL component. And then the comparative essay that we have, and we'll look at some examples later on, but uh, with, uh, uh, with Puik and also Mishima that we'll take a look at, but paper two will be comparison of different texts that we'll have. And also for paper one, we'll take a look at some sample papers from past uh, students who would have uh, written uh, sort of different analysis about the uh, these texts that we have, right? And learner portfolio uh, paper two. So we'll take a look at plenty of different uh, sort of uh, 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 past paper sort of uh, questions so that we practice, right? Uh, doing the guided textual analysis as well, right? So understanding interpretation, analysis and evaluation, organization, language, right? That we have, right? So again, uh, there would be the criteria, right? Uh, has a thorough perspective understanding uh, of the literal meaning of the text, convincing and insightful interpretation of the text, implications and subtleties of the text, right? That we have uh, demonstrates a proper time, insightful analysis, right? That we have uh, evaluation of features, right? Shape meaning, right? That we have. Right, uh, effectively organized and coherent that we have, well focused, right, that we have very clear, effective, chosen and precise, right, vocabulary, sentence construction, register and style, right, that we have comparative essay, language, right, focus, right, that we have. And so again, uh, the knowledge or understanding of the works, uh, persuasive interpretation or right, implications, right, the relation to the question, right, differences, right, that we have, uh, the textual features, broader authorial choices, uh, superficial comparison contrast, whereas uh, the higher would be a good comparison, insightful and convincing analysis of textual features, right. Uh, that we have very good evaluation, right? Choices contain, contribute to meaning. And then uh, criteria C would be uh, maintains a clear and sustained focus on the task. Treatment of the work is well balanced, the one with the ideas, logical and convincing. Ideas are connected in a cogent manner. Language would be uh, very clear, effective, carefully chosen and precise with a high degree of accuracy and grammar, vocabulary and sentence construction, register and style are effective and appropriate to the task, right, that we have as well. So uh, guided textual analysis, right, that we have uh, learner portfolio, paper one, comparative essay, right, that we have uh, higher, higher level essay, uh, that we have fighting question, sensitivity, transformation, text, explanation of the task, nature of the task, guided uh, textual analysis, analysis and evaluation. Once again, uh, the perceptive uh, <coughs> understanding of interpretation, so, uh, insightful interpretation, analysis and evaluation, uh, textual features, authorial choices, right, shape meaning, organized and coherent, well focused, language, very clear, effective, carefully chosen, precise, degree of accuracy and grammar, vocabulary, construction, register style, knowledge, understanding, interpretation, and also an evaluation, focus, organization, language. So again, that we have uh, persuasive interpretation, 
Insightful interpretation in relation to the question. And so is the insightful listen analysis, textual analysis, context. Well, clear and sustained focus on the task treatment of the work is well balanced. Development of ideas is logical and convincing. Ideas are connected in a cogent manner. Language is very clear, effective, carefully chosen, and precise with a high degree of accuracy in grammar. Vocabulary and sentence construction, register, and style are effective, appropriate to the task. Knowledge, understanding, education, analysis, and evaluation, focus, organization, development, language that we have. Language. Errors in grammar, vocabulary, language would be uh, effective, uh, carefully chosen, precise, right, that we have here as well. And so uh, once again, uh, different criteria and different sort of uh, mark scheme or rubric that we have, right, that you'll be trying to meet for every sort of criteria and every sort of mark scheme, right, that you'll be aiming for as well, right, that we have here as well. And uh, the internal assessment, the internal assessment would be uh, guidance and authenticity, requirements of the individual oral, oral standards for academic honesty assessment criteria. So once again, internally assessed work that we have or IB assessment that we have, right? Uh, the internal assessment would require initial proposal, quality of students' work, uh, uh, the uh, sir, uh, yeah, uh, the academic honesty requirements and recommendations that we have inducted that we have individual oral, right, uh, would be recorded, right, for the files of, to be of high quality, right, so individual oral would be uh, recorded definitely for sure. And uh, there would be assessment criteria for both SL and HL, right, that we have, right, and so again, a lot of these factors would be in play. Uh, there would be teachers at the, well, there'd be two marks that would be available, high descriptors, right, that we have. Uh, descriptors for each of the unit. And so once again, uh, the internal assessment details would be SL, HL, right, that we have. Uh, the individual oral that we have, right, 30% uh, for HL, 20% for HL. About 30 for SL, 20 for HL, right? 15 minutes that we have explanation of the task, the selection of the text, work, and extracts, right? That we have. The global uh, issue that we have, uh, exam determining uh, the global issue that we have. And so <clears throat> non literary text, literary text that we have, right? Culture, identity, and community, beliefs, uh, values, and education. Politics, power and justice, art, creativity and imagination, science, technology and environment, right? That we have a uh, learner portfolio and the individual oral. So uh, you'll be making the presentation about a given text or on the literary analysis of a text and the individual oral, right? That you'll be doing. And so teachers will monitor them, right? On the select selection of their oral topics that we have. And so we'll be going through them as well. Right, that we have as well. It'll be uh, sent to the IB, right, for them to also uh, do a second round of uh, sort of uh, assessment. Right, so teachers will also sort of give uh, uh, their own uh, sort of uh, predicted score or mark based on the mark scheme, but it will be sent to the IB for uh, external assessment as well, right, that they'll also be going through as well, right, that, which would be carried out by the school. Um, so once again, uh, knowledge, uh, understanding and interpretation, right, that we have, analysis and evaluation that we have, focus and organization, right, that we have, and then language, right, that we have, right, and then approaches to teaching and approaches to learning, and studies in language and literature, right, that we have teaching based on inquiry, teaching focus on conceptual understanding, right, uh, teaching developed in local and global contexts, Teaching focused on effective teamwork and collaboration, teaching designed to remove barriers to learning. And so 
again, uh, these will be uh, sort of more for uh, uh, the uh, the instructors themselves, but uh, once again, examples might be uh, providing scope for encouraging individual lines of inquiry as well as student choice in creating and choosing variety of tasks, uh, encouraging students to engage in creative tasks where attend world and visual arts, the CJs, role plays, performances, and so on, to experience and explore through them the process of creative writing and the challenges to express uh, expression that entails, designing individual and group research tasks, um, case studies and presentation based on student questions and area of interest, Exploring the ways in which other areas of inquiry, for example, historical, philosophical, psychological, might contribute to and uh, enrich the reading experience using problem solving approaches to text, for example, finding connection between text, implying different critical perspectives to text. So moving from uh, the concrete to abstract, for instance, by drawing together knowledge from close readings of individual texts in order to explore broader uh, conceptual concerns, the nature of poetry, the construction of meaning, the significance of literariness as an idea, encouraging students to explore different formal representations and mappings of the world of a literary text through a literary form, format, purpose, audience, and co or context, <coughs> conceptual framework to text, or conversely, constructing conceptual frameworks from uh, reading text, Concept of transformation by designing activities that allow students to consider literary forms and their conventions by transforming text in a variety of ways through a translation to film or uh, through performance, for example. Uh, groundings, close investigation of text uh, on broader conceptual discussions, for example, in connection with the concept of representation, does the structure of narrative affect meaning? How does media affect meaning? What is the relationship between the physical or book performance or live speech and communication? So once again, uh, teaching developed in local and global contexts, <coughs> bringing outside the world into schools, writers, cultural experts, other teachers, theater performances, school partnerships, etc. Drawing on students' backgrounds, experiences and interests, allowing for texts from different cultures to be juxtaposed encouraging creative and real world opportunities for students to explore cultural contexts and make links to other subjects, art, writing program notes for our local theater production, creating art, uh, monologue, colleges, collages, or poetry. And then uh, you'll be also doing the cast project, right, that we have creative action and service, right, that we have. And so uh, focused on effective teamwork and uh, collaboration that we have running in the family, right, that we have. Designing activities, encourage uh, the interaction between students and negotiation among them in relation to differing interpretation of one uh, same text particular uh, protocols like literature circle protocols, health structure discussion, and therefore allow for greater autonomy from the teacher, fostering instant, uh, instead reliance on other students, implementing peer assessment activities to their uh, feedback and their classmates, a group of greater say as regards decision-making and the relation to the syllabus content assessment, or sequencing of material within the bounds set by the IB in the sky, providing opportunities for students to carry out group presentation, a performance that call for a variety of decision tasks and aspects of performance, collecting texts that are challenging but accessible and allow students to build on prior knowledge, planning a wide range of activities that cater for different uh, different preferences and events such as different modalities of task. The student can uh, choose from to achieve one same aim using a variety of strategies to create in-class groupings that allow for collaboration and growth, paying attention to the use of multimodal text so that the students are able to access text that are read aloud or to work uh, or to work on graphic interpretation of texts that allow for a focus on the visual, paying careful attention to timely and relevant feedback that is specific to the needs of the individual reader. 
Considering the possibility of giving the students some say as uh, far as curriculum design is concerned, for example, allowing the course to have some say in the choice of works that will be read. So once again, uh, these sort of uh, 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 helpful uh, sort of guidelines for the teachers as well, right, that we have as well. So, uh, so a more uh, sort of teacher-based uh, sort of guidelines that we have, but checking that assessment marks and commentaries are understood, following by, uh, followed by clarification of further activities as needed, producing discussion based on student feedback and previous responses, uh, encouraging students to undertake ongoing reflection, assessment of uh, self-assessment in a variety of forms, brainstorming, pre-writing, journal response, uh, critical reflection, scaffolded over time, conducting online collaborative forum discussions on differentiated topics, where students can negotiate each other's interpretations of texts and explore the cultural values on which interpretations are based using uh, mini lessons or, or workshops to focus instruction based on gathered internal and external assessment data. Once again, uh, thinking skills, uh, that we have social skills, communication skills, right, that they're trying to build for us through approaches to learning with the IB, right, that we have connections between texts, right, uh, studied and current affairs, right, uh, students to actively engage in uh, the formation, formulation of hypothesis about a text meaning and uh, how that meaning is without needing to rely on uh, tried interpretation or easily accessible online sources. And so once again, uh, student literary conferences, presentation to parents, uh, younger students or communities, right, that we have, right, digital tools, right, so again, more uh, sort of uh, learning techniques uh, in different cultures, their forms, juxtaposition of text. And so how students would be acquiring and uh, developing these skills, right, that we have. Uh, public feedback that acknowledges and appreciates difference, right? Self-management self skill, uh, deadline, uh, management expectations, purposeful manner, right, that we have scaffold growth, boundaries, uh, expectations, <laughs> digital tools, and self-management, academic organization, self-reflection, self-reflection, language literature, tools for them individually, right? Uh, self-management skills, right, that we have, research skills being uh, modeling effective uh, research skills and solid academic honesty, practices through the use of carefully select a secondary material to distinguish between the sound, well-grounded, well-researched, interpretation of the text, and one that isn't. So also develop the research skills, right, that we have, uh, tests in relation to contextual concerns of text, right, linguistic and literary history, practices, databases, reliability, and then language and literature, once again, analyze, comment, compare, compare and contrast, contrast, describe, discuss, evaluate, examine, explain, explore, interpret, investigate, justify, present, to what extent, right? All of these that we have. And so again, uh, <clears throat> this would be the language and literature guide, right? That we have for IB literature, but you'll also have access to math, science, right? Uh, history, I IB con, or IB psych, right? IB physics, IB chemistry, right? That you also have access to on the IB diploma website, right? That you'll be able to access these uh, files as well for the respective uh, sort of subjects as well.